Looking for a needle in a haystack isn't the right description for finding Jesus in the Old Testament. A much better description is looking for needles in a stack of needles, or for hay in a stack of hay. He's everywhere. Jesus is in the seed promise of Genesis 3.15 as the woman's descendant who would crush the head of Satan. He's in the promises to Abraham. In Genesis 12.3, God promised to bless the world in Abraham, and in Genesis 22.18, explained that blessing would be in Abraham's descendant, Jesus. And, based on a comment made in Hebrews, he's even in the story of Cain and Abel. As Hebrews draws to a close, it wraps up its primary point of the superiority of Christ with a list of the better things we've come to in Jesus. Layered in the middle of that long list, we find we've come to Jesus, the mediator of a better covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which speaks better than the blood of Abel. That's in Hebrews 12, verse 24. This is a clear reference to the institution of the Old Testament by the sprinkling of blood as recorded in Exodus 24, verses 6 through 8 which is a type of the institution of the New Testament with the blood of Jesus as recorded in Hebrews 9 verses 14 and 15. But how is the blood of Abel connected to the blood shed by Jesus to create the new covenant? Well, the death of Abel is a type of the death of Christ. The innocent one, Abel, is killed by the wicked brother in Genesis 4. Jesus, the ultimate innocent one, is killed by his brethren. That's in Acts 3, verses 14 and 15. The blood of Abel cried out from the ground for vengeance on his killer, Genesis 4, verse 10. Fortunately for us, even though we deserve vengeance for the death of Jesus, his blood cries out a different message, forgive. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 12 through 18, makes that glorious announcement. Well, like a stack of hay or a box of needles, Jesus is sitting right there in the open for us to see. No digging, no searching, no complicated concepts, and no miraculous gift is necessary to find him. What is necessary is a heart willing to look to him who promises. Do you have that heart? Well, if you don't yet, keep coming back to Morning Minutes in the Bible, and maybe someday you will. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.